Good morning, internets, and welcome to another fine, if not wet and rainy, Monday morning. Glad to have you along on my Monday morning drive into the office. It was a lovely weekend. I shot lots of footage, lots of different things, and I'm very behind on my editing, but I'll be getting caught up on that today. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, you will have already seen at least a couple of the videos from this weekend. Very exciting things coming up. One of the things I got to do was talk to Joe Williams, Carrie Williams, and Emily Allen, the masterminds behind the Old Time Network game show, a throwback to classic game shows done in a live studio audience. Even if the studio is Joe's garage. I mean, the You Are Here Theater. It's actually pretty awesome. Very excited to be a part of it. Imagine you're at a game show, like what, like you get called up on a stage, you play games, they're like, is it teams? And I'm like, no, it's not teams. Is just... there tug of war? Yeah. Is there a three-legged race? <laughs> Do you bring gunny sacks with you to the party? <laughs> No, no gunning sex. I have to supply my own stick and wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this video would be even better if it starred <laughs> Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman. I totally agree, Bill Pullman. <laughs> I concur, Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. <laughs> With his mouth moving his lips. At all. I'm so glad you gave me Bill Paxton though, because he is way hotter. You took Bill Paxton. <laughs> Where did this idea come from? <laughs> we have lots of ideas. <laughs> That's the problem. Well, well it came from Emily's session. admission that she'd love to be a game show host. <laughs> and that uh, her skills at work had been training her to be a game show host. So we thought, why not actually put on a game show and put her to work? You know a little bit from the website and from seeing a little bit of the clips from the show, but what are your guys' characters? I play Slick Sparky, the announcer of the show, and my character is a debauched, <laughs> crude, uh, lounge, lounge lizard. <laughs> a lounge lizard type. Yep. Neil Diamond. Think uh, Bill, Bill Murray's Murray. character, the, the lounge lizard singing act. Carrie is Miss Coca Ramona, the Cuban fugitive, sex pot. Former singer with uh, Hux Flux, Flux, a Swedish dance band from the late 70s and early 80s. She comes to us from afar. I am your host, Trip Wellington. Entertainer extraordinaire, fast thinker, show mover, and networker, which is what led to the name of our show, the Old Time Network Game Show, because back when I was working in Vegas, which is where I met both of these fine folks, uh, people said, that trip really knows how to make people have a good time and feel good about themselves. And so... We decided to give it a shot here in Old Berry County. The awesome. van broke down, so we That's didn't really have a at. choice. That's where we're at. <laughs> we're it was this at abandoned the, garage that... The You Are Here Theater. We were able to rent. Yeah. Can't see it quite yet. The You Are Here know, Theater. But it'll be stunning. There's old footage. It's kind of grainy. It's kind of grainy. <laughs> it was Sound quality is terrible. In a certain unprofessional manner. It's the quality of a snuff film. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was thinking. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> to me, I think that game show hosts are some of the most talented and versatile entertainers in the history of at least definitely broadcast television and radio because they are working in an environment where it's not known ahead. You know, you, you have so many things that you're working with props, games, you know, things that can go wrong with the actual mechanisms of your game, things that can go wrong with the contestant that's trying to take over the show. There's too many factors that we don't know about. We're not 100% sure exactly who's going to be here. We're not sure who's going to end up being called up to the stage, how they're going to behave once they do get called up, you know. There's just a lot of things, how the game is going to actually go. It was funny how hard people had of a time on the pricing, and we were surprised by that a little bit. 
And actually, the kids did better on that, too. I mean, kids did better on everything. That was one of the reasons why we were like, no kids this time, because you can't... It's like, that's why that one show, like, Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, is probably a pretty smart show, because it is true that kids are, like, right in that, like, learning and thinking mode. And so when you give them, like, tasks to complete or, like, questions to answer and stuff, they're, like, right on that. Because that's like their daily life at school is like remembering and recalling things and spitting it back out. And that's not everybody's daily life at work at all. In fact, you try to deaden yourself to it. <laughs> Rather than openly grasping all the new and wondrous information available to you. <laughs> so, the reason why kids are not invited this time is because we're bitter. That's what I'm basically <laughs> trying to say. <laughs> something where people in the community would have something to do on Saturday night that wasn't super expensive, where they could potentially take their kids, because we did have the first one that had children, but we well, like to also have ones where it's more adult. Yes, it's better yeah. to have like a show for kids or one that's not for kids, yeah. but not have it mixed with adult and child contestants. Unless you're going to do like parent and child themes somehow and make it like a Nickelodeon type show. And we could do that too. I mean, it's certainly conceivable. But I think the problem is, is when you're doing a straight show, like to have it mixed together is just a challenge. It was a challenge that we didn't really realize would be as daunting as it became. Which we rose to, I have to say. Uh -huh. Yeah, these guys had faith in me when no one else did. I owe these people a lot. Well, and at the same time, we've been talking about all these ideas we always had, and we never would do any of them. And it was kind of like, well, why can't we just have a party and put on a game show for the people that come to our party? There's no new art forms being created, even though there's been all these changes in society. People still do the same things, and it's like, I don't know, it just seems like there's got to be new forms of entertainment. <clears throat> yeah, building on the old. Yeah, like bringing back old things that were popular and kind of updating them. Yeah. Because people used to have like game parties where like they'd have people over to their house to play. Like, oh, people would always bridge. play cards and stuff. But people would also do like charades parlor parties games. and like other kinds of parlor games. And that was a popular way for people to get together and have a good time. It was like it gives you a centralized thing to enjoy together. Yeah. Instead of most parties where it's like little packets of people talking to right. each other. Well, that's where I always talked thing. about how my family was from the South and they would get together and play bluegrass music. And it's like you can't not have a good time if you're sitting around playing music with other people or you're doing an activity that's fun. Yeah. And we wanted to have something where people could have fun instead of just having a bunch of friends over or something. And then, yeah, they just cluster around in little groups and talk about the same stuff. and Yeah. It's, it's not... That's fun sometimes. Yeah. But... It's not a group activity, though. Yeah. And I think that's what, like, I feel like our culture has gotten so more, like, we're all connected, like, electronically, but we're so disjointed, like, in the physical realm. I think people kind of need that time to be together and to be like in that moment together. That's a magical thing that's always existed for human beings, is like gathering together and sharing in something together, whether it's music, whether it's whatever, but like being all a part of one thing at the same time as a group. That's one thing that's been sorely kind of missing in our time. And people like want it and need it. And that's what we were kind of like, well, let's give them what they want. Oh, couldn't find a match. Let me try my version of it. Tell me when. Alright, let's see and go. Nope, couldn't find a match. <laughs>